Bog Panda. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Bog Panda. I'm Kelly at K E L L Y T H U L on Twitter and Instagram. And with no additional introductory content, with me as always is. I am Dr. Mike at Official Pagan on everything. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, leave a comment, turn on notifications, do all the stuff you need to do, and do it while you're wearing some of our merchandise. You'll feel better about yourself. Seems fair. I think both that I can't argue with that. <laughs> One of the few things you say I can't argue with, it, so I'll, I'll go with that. New Bog Panda, Crip, and Blood t-shirts are coming as well. Yeah. And now we're back. <laughs> now we're back. <laughs> That didn't take long. So we got good host and bad host. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Shoot. I meant to introduce you as Kelly Tool's co-host. <laughs> <laughs> Save that for the next one. Next time. <laughs> Start working that in. So uh, probably a quick one. We, we say that and you never really know, but uh, came across something recently we're pretty excited about uh, and that we plan take, to take credit for. And that is that uh, Bioshock is uh, in conversations with Netflix, not a big actual big daddy talking to (laughs) Netflix, but uh, that would be a great boardroom meeting. (laughs) That's going to be a good negotiating (laughs) leverage. I would think this guy (laughs) kind of cracks up the old drill arm. It's like, okay, okay. (laughs) Control, control, creative control. You got it. You got it. (laughs) <laughs> little sisters going around the whole board <laughs> taking everybody out that'd be awesome but uh, netflix and bioshock are going to team up for us to get some bioshock related content on netflix and a couple of you might have heard of a similar endeavor a thing called witcher <laughs> that netflix seems to have had some success with uh and if that's any sort of indication of um uh, what could happen here it could be a really exciting thing and you know i'm very interested in hearing your thoughts but i just and we've talked about bioshock a lot that world that immersive world, particularly bioshock one and two uh really seems to lend itself that you could have some pretty amazing things yeah i think it's surprising it hasn't happened already and i know there was talk with other studios and stuff in the past and just nothing ever game of it which is a shame um like kelly said you know we're not just taking credit for it because to be arbitrary like we did this we spoke about how atmospheric bioshock is how immersive that environment is and how it has this great presentation and obviously somebody in netflix was right they're right we yeah. need to jump on this right now. That's right. And- so <laughs> And they started, of course, being inspired by our Shaq Fu conversations. Right. But when when those negotiations, because you know, when it's Shaq or a big daddy, you're gonna big daddy's gonna win, <laughs> you know, win the day. And uh, so it Shaq could be Fu, a shared universe. That's right. It could be. It certainly <laughs> could be. What I'll be interested to see is uh, will it be a shared universe between Bioshock um, and Bioshock Infinite? Uh, and kind of some of the, the pieces there to say uh, as you kind of extend things out because uh, you get into you know pick your dystopia <laughs> you get all sorts of some uh, some pretty uh, strange things going on but you know all, all the way from you know an underwater city to uh, a steampunk city in the clouds and uh, uh, I think there's a lot of room there but I think I, you know when you look at Witcher which is a great game uh and uh, what they've been able to do with that and build that into such a uh, kind of cinematic and interesting delivery. I just think Bioshock, no criticism of Witcher, but when you look at the Bioshock universe <laughs> and the things that they could bring to bear visually, it's going to be amazing. Uh, as we informed Netflix of earlier, <laughs> that it would be amazing. And uh, just the, the characters and the storyline could be just, just fantastic. Yeah, I, I really hope they do a good job. I, I do like a lot of what Netflix does with their original content. And obviously they have the talent and the money to make great things happen. So there's no reason that this should fail. I do feel though that by and large, we still haven't cracked the video game movie thing the way that we have like comic book movies. They they have that down now because there was a long time in the 90s where it wasn't. 
there's a lot of those early Marvel movies that people like to forget about <laughs> that the original Captain America movie, the original Spider-Man movie the original, from the late eighties and early nineties. Like people like to forget that those existed, but they did, they did exist and they were awful. So like it took a while to kind of get that down. I, I still don't think we've really cracked it. And the stuff that has kind of come out ahead of the pack, like Witcher and stuff like that, it's usually because there's other things attached to it. Like Witcher was a book series first. Uh, there was also a TV series and movie already made of it in Europe prior to the American remake. So they also had a failed movie and a failed TV show to look at um, and not do that with they, what they did. So I, I feel like with Witcher, they were further along. It was more developed in that sense. Uh, the new Mortal Kombat movie was decent, uh, but the newer animated Mortal Kombat movies they did were way better. Um, Castlevania, I would say, was the best video game adaptation so far in my opinion which netflix did so that does give me hope uh i just i just feel like we're not at that point yet like we are with comic book movies where they completely get it and know how to do it so hopefully this is the turning point where we really get there and start getting some really good video game adaptations yeah it uh yeah we don't know any you know and they're they're just in early talks and they're framing up and as mike mentioned there have been runs at this before I think yeah. there was even an, a, a one that had gotten for, far enough along for directors and writers and, and people to get into conflicts and basically eventually throw their hands up and say, we're, we're out, we're not doing this. Uh, but Netflix is starting to build a nice track record. Uh, so this isn't good. They certainly have, while they don't have a book series to fall back onto like The Witcher uh, or Game of Thrones or those types of things uh, to, to kind of run through, I just think the very nature Again, as mentioned on the Bog Panda show of Bioshock, <laughs> uh, the richness that is Bioshock seems to give them a lot of a lot of stuff to work with. Uh, it, it, uh, I I can't wait to see what will be clearly CGI big daddies. <laughs> you know, we're, yeah. we're looking at those uh, little sisters, uh, and uh, it'll be it'll be pretty good stuff. So I think it'll be. It'll be fun. I think that that one where Witcher's pretty much, you know, while it's it's that whole kind of, you know, mythos kind of stuff going on, myth and adventure, uh, this one could be a lot stronger horror play, I would think, given kind of the nature of Bioshock and uh, the splicers and all that good stuff. So um, could be fun, plus just some absolute crazy characters <laughs> so, so it could be could be pretty fun yeah I, i'm looking forward to it i hope it happens and i hope like i said that we're finally turning the corner like i said i you know i thought castlevania was really good mortal kombat's good <laughs> i think we are getting there we're just not there yet we're not at that golden age of video game adaptations <laughs> people yep. still remember super mario brothers <laughs> yes <laughs> Yep, and you've got to, yeah, then, and Dennis Hopper was in that. Yeah. <laughs> Go, I mean, well, I mean, it was like John Leguizamo, um, uh, Bob Hoskins. Bob uh, Hoskins, yeah. And, uh, and <laughs> just not, not a bad, uh, yeah, not a bad cast. <laughs> so, no. Uh, but horrible movie <laughs> simply terrifying when you when you read especially because that was a long troubled production for that movie as well when you read the original people attached to it like dustin hoffman <laughs> was originally set to play mario in that like that would have been an insane movie <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what we hope is you know they're as mike said they're turning the corner bioshock comes out good and this is all prequel for the Atari 2600 Halloween <laughs> delivery, <laughs> uh, which will be just a fascinating show. Well, I, I did want to ask you to just to kind of wrap up the, the video game movie stuff. What's one you would like to see turn into a movie or show? Oh, boy. I figured you'd ask me that. And I didn't really do my homework to kind of come up with a, a good one there. Uh, so I Golden Axe. Uh, I think good there's some, some pretty good opportunities with Golden Axe. That could be pretty fun. Um, uh, hmm, trying to think of the other one. Um, I, yeah, I think the, the, the silent service uh, 
movies have been made <laughs> we've, we, they've covered the whole sub thing so yeah <laughs> so i think i don't think that that can go through um yeah i think i'm gonna stick with golden axe how about you golden axe is a great choice but i was thinking a tv show of leisure suit larry <laughs> that's definitely on hbo <laughs> or show <laughs> probably showtime it's probably a showtime thing <laughs> but uh yeah leisure suit larry would be good yeah if we can go back into well, if we go back into the amiga catalog speedball two <laughs> that will be again rollerball has been kind of close so we'll see but uh those could be fun but uh yeah uh leisure suit larry i could go for that space quest another good one could do the could kind of do all that kind of series there so hey let us know in the comments who who you want to see kind of make their way make their way next to netflix uh or any other major streaming service, Amazon Prime, et cetera, as a video game. What video game do you want made into a movie or a, a series on one of these streaming channels? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, a good Doom adaptation would be great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's <laughs> emphasis on a good one. Yeah. That would be, that would be nice. Uh, but uh, it doesn't seem to be in the cards. Again, another universe that's, uh, it's not, it doesn't, have the depth, no pun intended, of Bioshock, but uh, it uh, you would have thought you had some stuff to work with there too. But I just yeah, you think just follow the game and you got a pretty solid fun action movie. Yeah, but no, <laughs> yeah. two two filmmakers now have just said I'm going to make up my own story. <laughs> yeah, I think the other one, and so this wouldn't be so much a retro game uh, as much more of a computer game kind of deal. Uh, Unreal. Uh, okay. That would that would be another uh, that would be another pretty pretty fun one I think but uh, but yeah otherwise I'll stay with Gold Max so let us know in the comments if you've got other ideas Leisure Suit Larry <laughs> yeah or just up, up vote Mike's Leisure Suit Larry <laughs> you know give him <laughs> give him all the support you can in the comments you know, help him feel better and validated. let's make it happen <laughs> Disney Plus Leisure Suit Larry series there you go. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> thanks, everybody. <laughs>